and welcome to an episode of Gorgeous Goddesses Don't Gape You. Have you ever felt like your model just isn't moving the way you want it to? Like you have to flail about just to get your model to move a little bit? Like your eyes are wonky? Well, have no fear. D is here. And today we're going to go over how to set up your parameters so you don't hurt yourself. First things first, let's load up your model. Before we even begin setting up your parameters, you want to ensure that your camera is placed comfortably for streaming. So put it in the place you're gonna keep your camera in every single time you stream. D recommends putting your camera below your face and off to the side just a little bit, making sure that it's angled at you. This way you're more likely to capture all of those lovely wide face angle movements. Webcam users, please use the Google Media Pipe webcam tracker. It's very low overhead, great quality, tracking and it's good especially if you have a potato PC. Make sure that whether you're using a webcam or you're using vBridger, you have calibrated your face movement before you begin setting up those parameters. It's like zeroing in on the center position of your face. So place your face in a comfortable centered position and then hit your calibrate button. The last thing we're gonna mention on this camera and tracking menu is the quality and effects portion. Here you can actually set the FPS of the application itself. Great for if you have a potato PC. D recommends always setting your window resolution to 1920 by 1080. This is the default size for the OBS window. And in doing so, you can then drag your model all around the screen and you will never have to worry about it clipping or getting cut off. We'll talk more about how to move your model with hotkeys in the future so you can do things like this. Let's get started with those parameters. Under model settings, we are going to go and find your face left and right rotation. This is the angle X. Angle X is left and right. Angle Y is up and down. We are going to be using a handy dandy snipping tool to help us out with this next part. First and foremost, every single one of these parameters should be set with comfortable movement in mind. What that means is you're not actually going to be moving to the maximum of your physical range, or it's going to take you that much movement to move your model. Starting with the face left and right by the angle X, what we're going to do is we're going to start by moving your face left, okay? You're gonna move your face to the left, but only slightly to a comfortable degree where you can see the edge of your computer screen. And then using your handy dandy snipping tool, we're going to take a snapshot of the angles right in here. Reason being is sometimes when you move your face, it's hard to see what this number is in VTube Studio. This number is telling me that in order to reach that maximum angle to the left, my negative number needs to be 16.05. So D is going to take out that 05 and I'm going to make it negative 16. But look, this red dot has moved, which tells you my face is now too far to the left. Let's do the same thing to the right. I'm going to look to the right and then I'm I'm gonna bring out my handy dandy snipping tool and we are going to grab the value of D looking comfortably to the right side of D's screen. Here we see D got the number 23.92. So D is going to enter that value in the top, 23.9. Once you have these numbers set, you'll find you don't have to move your head as much to go left and right. D can now say no very easily. Let's move on to the Y angle. We're gonna use that same technique for all of our parameters. For the Y, just as another example, D is going to tilt her head down to a comfortable angle so that D can look at the bottom of the screen. While tilting D's face down, D is then going to use the handy dandy snipping tool to find out exactly what angle it is when D looks down. Looks like that's negative 9.37. We're going to do the same thing looking up at a comfortable angle. D is going to lift her head to the very, 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 very top. And using the snipping tool, we see that the top value needs to be closer to 17. So that's exactly where we're gonna put it. Change in the value to 17. Now that these decrease those values, look, the dot is nice and centered. And Dee can also move her head very, very little and get a good crispy yes and no. Now, if you find this is too much movement, increase the numbers. Too little, decrease the numbers. The smaller the number, the less you have to move your body to make your character move. Now, D didn't cover this yet, but smoothing affects these values as well. Smoothing is how quickly those parameters are going to be turned on. The less smoothing you have, the faster it's going to happen. 
So if you want your movements really crispy, less smoothing. But if you want them to be slow and controlled, add a little bit more smoothing. For head angles, 15 is a good round number. Some riggers will have you do more or less. And also note, if you find that your face parameter or anything you just set twitches, it's because you turned auto blinking on. Watch. It's going to make these head jerk up and down. Auto blinking turns on and off a parameter really quickly to simulate blinking if you do not have eye tracking. Now let's move on to the Z-axis. You might think that the Z-axis was forward and back since we have up, down, left, right, but Z for rigging is actually a sideways angle. For your face, it's tilting your ear to your shoulder. That's what this Z angle is. The 30s are actually pretty good for D's current settings. D could make them smaller and snappier if D wanted D's face to wiggle a little bit more, maybe dropping that to like 25. And then D can have a little bit of head wiggle without much body wiggle. Body rotation X, very important. You have to make sure these numbers are larger than those for your face. If they're not, your body's gonna fly all over the place. Look at what happens if D takes this down to 20. Your body parts will come flying off. <laughs> so make sure that these are much, much bigger than your face angles. You can also increase the smoothing to help with that. Just keep in mind, you want these angles to be a lot bigger than your face so that you can get a little bit of head movement without triggering your body. Don't trigger your body! <laughs> The Y rotation is our beloved bounce. If you want your character to bounce more, make these a lot smaller. But look at what happens. D is going to make this 10, if I can click on it. And look at what happens when I try to say yes. <laughs> Nothing. Play around with the numbers here to find which value works for you. For D, 30 on both directions is just fine so that D can bounce comfortably. <laughs> And our last body angle is going to be body rotation Z. Just like with the head, this is an angle for ear to shoulder. And on D's model, this is actually the angle that helps control my hip movement. For this, D actually wants less smoothing because D wants those beautiful sharp hip angles. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So that D can simulate dancing. <laughs> Make sure you don't accidentally turn on auto blinking or you'll find your body twitching in weird ways. Auto breath is a feature that most models should have. It just makes your model move gently up and down to simulate breathing, trying to bring the character to life. Let's move on to your eyeballs! Just like with the face, the X value for your eyes is going to move them left to right and the Y value is going to move your eyes up and down. Here is really where the snipping tool is going to come in handy if you don't have a buddy to look at these values for you because you won't be able to figure out the X value or Y value for your eyes when you can't see them. So let's bring out our handy dandy snipping tool. Dee's gonna start with the X value and we're going to look to the left comfortably. Dee recommends looking to the far edge of your screen where you might look for playing a video game. So I'm going to look to the left and then I'm going to capture it with the snipping tool. Looks like Dee needs to set that top value to 0.39. And we're going to do just that. 0.39 will now move my eyes to the very, very far edge of the screen. Let's do the same for the right volume. We're going to look to the right comfortably to the edge of your screen and then grab a snip. The value for D is negative should be 0.56. Increasing that value, you can now see that D's eyes are way more centered than they were earlier. Using the same technique of moving your body part comfortably, grabbing a snip and entering those values, we are going to do the rest of the face. Montage. And that's it! Now, after you have set all of your parameters, you should be able to wiggle freely without straining your body. This has been an episode of Gorgeous Goddesses Don't Gatekeep. I hope that you found this helpful and that you have a wonderful rest of your D. Bye!